later today we will be attempting appeal here at St Matthew in the city. This will be the first time that a local band has attempted this since 1995. Bell ringers use the word peel in two different ways. The first is used to describe a set of bells rung together. This is our peel. We have eight bells here, originally cast by Warners in 1883, with some recast in the 1970s by Whitechapel. Our lightest is 600 weight, or about 312 kilograms, and our heaviest is a little over 20 hundred weight, or 1047 kilograms. The second way is the special name given to specific change ring performances. Generally, it must include at least 5,000 changes or numerical permutations, and the performance must be recorded in the publication, The Ringing World. I first started learning how to ring in February of 2007. This will be my first peel attempt, although I have rung, rung uh, several quarter peels before. But what is a peel and a quarter peel? And how are these numbers determined? Change ringing gets its name from changing the order of the bells. These changes are also known as permutations. On three bells, there are only six permutations you can do before you're starting to repeat yourself. So we've got one, two, three, one, three, two, three, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, three. One, two, three, and so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six different variations, which we can write as three factorial. On four bells, there are twenty-four changes. You can work this out by writing them all out and counting them by hand, or using a factorial, multiplying a number by all the whole numbers smaller than it. So four factorial is four times three times two times one. These numbers can grow very large very quickly. So we already know that 3 factorial is 6. Now given that it takes us approximately 2 seconds to ring each change, this would take us about 12 seconds. Now we know that 4 factorial is 24, and already we're at nearly a minute. Now if we continue the maths a little bit further, we see 5 factorial is 120, 6 factorial is 720, 7 factorial is 5,040, and that would take about 3 hours to ring. 8 factorial uh, is 40,320. Now we only have 8 bells here in Auckland, but if we had more, 9 bells is 362,880, and 10 bells, uh, 10 factorial is 3,628,880, and if we did that many changes, it would take you 84 days continuous ringing. Now it's on this basis that the Central Council for Church Bell Ringers, the CCCBR, who set these rules, decided that for appeal to count, if it had seven bells or less, it would be 5,040 changes, and if it was eight bells or more, as long as it came round and it had a minimum of 5,000 changes. Now what we're going to be ringing is we are going to be ringing eight bells, but only seven of them are going to be working. So a bit like when you see a marching band, a pipe band, that kind of thing, uh, going down the street, and You've got some people playing the melody, but then you have the bass drum keeping the beat. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be having seven bells ring. We, uh, this is what we call triples method. And then I'm going to be on number eight, um, so that it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or uh, one, three, two, five, four, seven, six, eight. And so that the whole way through the three hours, the eight bell is going to be keeping the rhythm, keeping the tempo, uh, and making sure um, that we go, uh, that we continue on uh, and it also gives uh, an, a bell for them to, for the other bells to lead off. We anticipate that ringing the peel will take about three hours. Ringing a full peel is the bell ringing equivalent of running a marathon or attempting to perform the entire Wagner ring cycle in a single sitting. As you can imagine very few ringers ever attempt let alone achieve or score a peel. For it to count we need to have not made any mistakes or repeated ourselves at any point in the three hours. This will be grueling. Ringing for that long while standing in one spot and concentrating on what you're doing and working as a team. Well, we're going in. Phones on silent mode, door shut, distractions cast aside. See you on the other side.
Well, uh, the attempt is over, and uh, it was not successful. Uh, we stopped, and we had a little rest, and we voted, and we decided to try again, and then that didn't work, and then, so then we rested a little bit longer, and we decided to ring a court appeal, which we did achieve. Sometimes this happens, not every appeal is successful, just like not every runner in a marathon finishes the race. And that just happens, a, a career marathon runner will have some completions and some not completions, and we, us bell ringers have the same when it comes to our appeals. It's traditional when you, fit, when you successfully ring a quarter appeal or appeal that you have a toast afterwards. So here we are toasting. I'm, most of us are drinking port, uh, but a couple of us are drinking orange juice. And uh, we do this to celebrate, um, because it's always good to celebrate your successes. But uh, we are tired. My shoulder is killing me. Uh, our arms hurt. We're tired. We're sweaty. Uh, I'm fairly sure I've sneezed out a bunch of dust and fluff that have come down while we're ringing. Um, yeah. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Our recording of the ringing is available on the Society channel over here somewhere. Uh, and here is another video that I think you will like. Kakiteano.